Hello, hello, you have to Portal Games and in this video I will be complaining because I'm from Poland and I will be discussing uh, the impact or rather the no impact of uh, board game awards in America and all other countries except Germany and France. So this past week Golden Geek Awards were uh, announced and uh, awarded and uh, last week uh, the Dice Tower Award nominees uh, were announced. So there is like this weeks of uh, awards and upcoming Spiel des Jahres Awards in, in two weeks. So let me discuss the, uh, this topic because it is very very interesting. Uh, what you as a gamers, as a users uh, may not know both Golden Geek and the Dice Tower Award and all other except Spiel des Jahres and except the, the Game of the Year in France Awards have zero, zero impact on sales of these products. This is uh, mind-blowing, this is for me terrifying, this is confusing, perplexing, but this is the fact. If you win Golden Geek, if you win the Dice Tower Award, the basic average common reaction of a retailer who is supposed to sell this product is uh, good job, congratulations, whatever. And they keep doing their job, not paying attention to the awards, to the industry awards. And I find it as, uh, as I said, very confusing. I find it uh, problematic. So I wanted to finally address it. I was planning to record uh, such a video for a long, long time because it, it hurts me for a long, long time. And here we are in these very, very difficult times of most of the retailers being shut down or being out of the business, some of them, I'm very sorry to hear about the, the, the first bad, terrible, terrifying impact of the pandemic. But, uh, well, ours were awarded, so let's discuss this topic. So, in general, what award mean? It means that this particular game is most likely a good, a very good, stunning, amazing, because this award means something. And whatever this is, uh, the Dice Tower Award, that means that the uh, influencers, reviewers, people doing all this uh, content uh, in, in terms of the reviews and, and gameplays chose these particular games as the one of the best of the past year. With the Golden Geek it is even even more open. This is you, gamers, voting for the games you love, voting for the games you played last year and loved and you want to manifest this and giving this award. So, this is message to the retailers, to the distributors, to the industry that these are the best of the titles released last year. And uh, as you guys know, because we are discussing it very openly in the industry, there is too many games on the market. There are thousands. At this point, these are thousands of games released every single year. There is hundreds and thousands of sell sheets sent from the publishers to the distributors, from the distributors to the retailers. Retailers have no clue what's coming out from the publishers because there's so many titles. There's a dozen of products every single day, every single week uh, released. So now having this opportunity to slow down and to pay attention to the best of the best of the previous year, I think it is very interesting for the distributors, it is very interesting for the retailers to, among these thousands of games released last year, to get this uh, list, a uh, ready to ready to read a list of uh, these are the best games of the last year, Wingspan, etc, 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 and these best uh, games. So for me it is a guidance uh, for the industry, hey, last year there was 2000 games released, this is this 20 the best ones, according to Golden Geek, so according to the users or according to the influencers, the Dice Tower Awards. So this is theory. In a fact, nobody gives. You know. So what I would hope distributors and what I would hope retailers to do in this period of time is cash in all this hype they get from the hours, all this discussion that happened right now on the forums when everybody's complaining that Wingspan won every single category including expansion and innovative and even strategic games. Everybody's talking about the hours, everybody's discussing the nominee, there is this so many content. Cash in, use this hype, sell this product, present this product, use it to make a sell because you are a distributor or because you are a retailer and you want to make a sell. So the question is, rhetorical question, or maybe not, to the distributors, rhetorical question to the 
this to the retailers. Did you, after announcement of this uh, Golden Dick Award, send out a newsletter to your partners, if you're a distributor, to retailers? Here are the 20 best games of the last year. You can order it from now. This is the sell sheet. This is the numbers. This is the price. You can bought it from us we have a promotion buy them together buy them all together today in this case a special golden gig box to get a special prize or whatever did you as a distributor educated uh, retailers help them understand that this is the time to sell wingspan this is the time to sell uh, macaraibo this is the time to sell paladins this is the time to sell um, all these uh, hot items discussed right now and even more because uh, these five distributors in, in America, but even more with uh, retailers. My message to retailers, my question to retailers, my hope to make them work better, to make uh, better actions, to improve their uh, sales strategy. Did you manifest, announce these best games, these awards on your media? Did you send out the newsletter to your customers saying, hey, Golden Geek Awards were, were announced, these are these 10 best games, you can buy them today from our, our, our store with this additional 2% discount. Did you send out the post on social media, on your Facebook page, on your Twitter page saying congratulations to Wingspan, congratulations to Macaribo, congratulations to, uh, to uh, any other different game, hey, you can buy this game from our store, 5% discount on this week because this is a week of Golden Geek. Did you, if you're open, I know we are not open right now, but this video will be hopefully valid last year, this year, next year, always is valid. Did you, in your store, make this pile of this, of this game? So everybody who enters the store sees this pile of uh, these amazing games and the big sign Golden Geek winners. And everybody who enters your store will say, oh, what is this? And you can see as a seller, hey, this is the best games. They just got an hour. You can buy them today. I strongly recommend these are awesome. Did you make this uh, a special, special exhibition for these best titles? Did you order online? This is so easy. Everybody can do this. Order online some stickers with the logo of Golden Geek and put these stickers on every single box that was nominated. So everybody who is browsing the collection of games you have in your store will see these stickers pop up and he will ask you, what is that? And you will immediately be able to make a sales pitch. You can say, this game just got awarded and nominated for the Golden Geek. It's amazing. You should try it out. Yes, buy it, buy it. They, I mean Golden, a board game geek, and they, I mean the Dice Tower, give you ammunition to shoot, to get a sell, to make a sell. And you have to do everything to use this hype, these days, right now, to give the discount, to give a promo, to give this amazing exhibition, to send out newsletter one, second, third. You can start the camera. Everybody has cameras because everybody has a phone right now at the hand. And record on YouTube or record on Facebook Live or record on Twitter Live or on TikTok or Snapchat. The, your commentary. Hello, I'm owner of the store in Tennessee. And these are the nominees. You can visit us and buy them from us. I love these games. I love this and this and this. Please come. Did you try to cash in the hype that is in the area? Uh, Sadly, my thesis, my gut feeling is you did not. Because this is what we see in the numbers. This is what we see discussed in the industry. That these hours, Golden Geek, and these hours, the Dice Tower, has very, very low impact on the sales. Nobody is trying to cash them in. Nobody is trying to push promotions in these digs. Nobody is doing that that stuff. Like I, I have here all these notes. Like I could try to help. I'm trying to help. Like if you have a web store, if you have a website, please put a big banner. Golden Geek winners only this week discount. Make a category, a special category in your web store. The category Golden Geek Winners or the Dice Tower nominees and players will browse them and look for the best games. Like, try your best to communicate to your customer that among these 2,000 different games released last year, this is the 20 the best ones and they need to have them in the collection. Cash in the hype. And I'm referencing all over again uh, to the Spiel des Jahres because this is the only award and the game of the year in France. These are two awards that work. That the numbers we, we saw, the, the number we say very openly that if you win Spiel des Jahres, you will sell like 1 million copies of the game or 500, depending on the game. If it's a cheap game like a Hanabi, or this may be more expensive. But we are talking about the hundreds 
of thousands copies sold if you win Spiel des Jahres. And what's the difference? The difference is that the market in Germany, the retailers, store owners, everybody understand that if the game got this award, this is time to push. This is the time to sell this game. This is the time to order this game because everybody will be discussing this game. Everybody will be interested. And if this game won or got at least nominated for Spiel des Jahres, that means this is a very good game because the jury knows what they are awarding. And this is a very good game. And you can, even without playing, recommend it to your customers because it's an amazing game. So that's why award in France and award in Germany makes these, uh, these uh, I would say, markets healthy. Uh, makes them great, uh, makes uh, the impact of the award. And if uh, any game wins a game of the year in Germany, if any game wins the game of the year in France, this game will be in every single store for the upcoming weeks and months. The retailers will be pushing this game, will be selling this game, and that's why this is the difference. You win a Golden Geek, nothing happens. You win Spiel des Jahres, you sell half of the million copies of the game. So my message, my complaining Ignatius message to the retailers, my complaining message to the distributors, try to fix the market, try to help the market, try to make the market more healthy in North America and educate retailers and your retailers, do your homework, educate yourself and understand that these Golden Geeks, these Dice Towers Awards, then all, all the different hours is help for you to sell the product, to promote this product to the customers. And for us, for the customers, this is the guidance. Out of these 2,000 games released last year, this is 20 we should pay attention to. Thank you for that. Uh, I hope for some comments uh, below from friends, from Germany, the markets that understand the, the impact, the, the gravity of the, of the award. And uh, from you, from retailers, from maybe some distributors will even comment here. Mm, what did you do? with your heart here, or with your hand on your heart. What did you do to help promote these hours, to promote good games, to push these titles, to make the category, to make the exhibition, to make some stickers, to make some additional uh, sell sheets, to make some additional bundles, Golden Geek winners, Dice Tower Award winners. How we try to help this industry to grow and how we try to appreciate the best titles in our industry. This year, Wingspan, as I said, Paladins, etc. etc. Thank you for watching, uh, waiting for your feedback. Mm, please don't be offended uh, if you're a retailer and I was yelling, I was yelling because I care. I was yelling because I want you to grow. I was yelling because I want everybody to be stronger and grow and be better in this industry. And I do believe we can do better about this thing. Thank you, stay in touch. Subscribe if you watch this video for the first time. This is my vlog. This is Ignacy Tuchek and Portal Games vlog and I discuss here um, once a week uh, the topics from the industry and trying to share my point of view, my angle. Um, uh, so please subscribe. Please give me a thumb up if you like this video. It will uh, help uh, to share it to the new people. And once again, leave me feedback. How you see that? Do you have a favorite local game store in your area, in your city that does the homework, that does the job, that when the Golden Geek Awards are, are given, you enter this store and there's this amazing exhibition and the demos and the retailer knows all these titles and says, this is off, amazing, buy it, this is great. Or you have the retailers who have no freaking clue uh, who won the Golden Geek and they don't give a, you know, Take care, waiting for your feedback. Uh, once again, I didn't mean to offend anybody. I want us to grow. I want us to do better. I want us to do our homework and work hard and improve. Thank you, stay in touch, bye-bye.